Hi, Mark Savage here. Decal time. Decal, decal, where I'm from. Right, if you look at the front, I'll show you a quick video now of what it looked like before I put them on. So a before shot. And then we're going to work out how that goes on with the little guide it's got there. On there. Might be a little bit complicated here. Let's give it a go. So a nice, very quick look round. I've done lots of decals. And I've got to say, these are not good. Um, and I'll tell you why. This goes here. I've got these ones. They go on the back and they're quite long, quite twisty. They have to go here. And then I've got these that can't quite figure out how they match here. Um, there's no backing paper. You know, this the back. I mean, when you peel them off, they should come off all together. These are just separate decals, decals. The only one he has done right is these ones. They've got a film on top. And that sort of does this and you miss out the C. One picture, nothing else. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one on first, then that one, and then have a fight with this one because I'm gonna have to do them separately and gauge them out. I've got to get these off, and this one off here. So this one isn't too bad to get off. There you go, it's nice and easy. Put that on that back paper there. This one's gonna be a, bit of a bugger. Now, <laughs> I think this will make it look nuts and original. That's what I like doing. As I say I don't want it to look just like everybody else's. So I'm gonna get this off. Now, how do you get them on here? You need a few little things, and they are just a few things. So you're gonna need some washing up water, washing up water. <laughs> water with washing up liquid in it, tiny bit, and you're literally gonna wipe it down clean, and then you're gonna spray it all over and leave it very, very wet. When I get these off, normally I pull the back off and I can do it on here, I won't be able to. There's gonna be a case of holding it and then splotting it on basically. You're never ever gonna do this without this, okay? Not these ones here. You're never gonna get the right lines for having to move it. Now, I went to a uh, fellow the other day who was selling a little Fiesta and he was having problems with his decals. Um, there bubbles in there. Don't fret about bubbles. I mean, realistically, when you've got a long line, on my mini, mini video, check that one out, um, they were massive, this thick, and you go in the middle and you're going out all the way. If you're unlucky to get bubbles, a standy knife, the sharp edge, just pop it in the middle, don't scratch it, pop it in the middle and then push. And it closes it down nicely, you don't see the hole. Top tip, that's how to get rid of bubbles. Now, I may get some here, because look at the shape here, um, the curves, and around here as well, you know, may get them, but we'll have a look. Do this side, I'm gonna cut them across here so you don't got doubled up. So I've got my little scissors for, where well, I can find them now. So I'm gonna be cutting these out. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm not very impressed, to be honest with you. That really is a bit of a bugger, not having them done like that. It would've made it a lot, lot easier for me to get where I wanna be. Um, so I'm gonna to have to literally just guess now where the lines are. You know, maybe that's what's throwing me actually. The fact that they're so far apart and these are very close together. And I'll do them and they're gonna go on there as well. And we're gonna stand blade them and see how it goes. Right, stay with me, I'm gonna clean it, prep it, and then we're gonna peel off and you're gonna stay with me and watch what I do. As I suspected, these are gonna be an absolute horror to fit. Um, I've got this nicely on here, but they're not shaped. So this is going to have to stretch. Um, this one's not going to come round without bubbling. So I'm going to heat that up and heat here. And you're pushing up because I had to line it off from the picture. I thought we'd run with this line here, but it doesn't because these then up here. They have to run here. So these ones have to then run, well, I don't, don't know because that's the shape. And that's nothing like that at all, is it? So... Talking here, like that, yeah, I guess we're talking that way, I don't know. You know what, very, very difficult. Um, with one picture of what you're supposed to be doing is very, very difficult as well. 
I hope this isn't a pull off and chuck away job because that would really pee me off. Got a little squidgy. I've got no bubbles, like I didn't think. You want to trace this line, but that would end up up here. So I had to trace the line, and it shows it's got a gap here because this one then starts here that way. This one, I'm hoping that it stretches round. So I'm going to start hair drying, warming it up, and then not blowing it away, and then seeing how we are with this. Um, hopefully the result will uh, outweigh the pain. Right, hair dry, let's get on, come back with me. Don't get them too hot. Keep just following the lines. The squidgies, they bend in nicely, so that's really helped me out here. And um, that's got rid of all the water. There's no way on God's earth you'd ever get this done without the squidgy water and this. You just wouldn't do it. Not a chance. Um, I've got to warm that up and get that one down as well. And then get the bar out of here. No bubbles though. Didn't expect any bubbles. Let's carry on and see what this looks like. When you peel it off, of not letting it stick to itself, because that's what it wants to do straight away. You peel it off and it wants to fold all in, you know, like you do electrical tape sometimes. And that does that horrible little bit there. But that's definitely right there, so it's... it's I don't know whether it's mismatched cut or what it is, but it's a bit difficult to get it to where you want it to go. I want it to go there, to match up with them lines there. And we'll have to see how it curves around. But yeah, it's uh, <laughs> definitely not fun. Definitely not fun. Can't tell with the shapes here. Do you know? That's definitely where it's got to go. Now, when you get it on, try and get a start of where you can get all of the water out. Which this is now stuck. It's nicely in there, although the shape's different. But that's the only way it can go. And then when you kind of go up here, you're going to get bubbles. So you don't want to. You've got to warm that. And sometimes it's much better off having a rag that you can push the water out with because it will suck the water up. Worst case, you know, peel it off and wipe it out. But, yeah, it's very, very difficult. I'm not impressed with how, how the lines just don't match. Do you know? But that, there's not bubbles there. That's lovely. Not a lot of skill needed, really. But you shouldn't have any bubbles in. Bubbles are bad. You should never have bubbles in there. All right, let's do this one as well with a hairdryer. Come and look in a second. I'm not sure I'm going to get round here. And it's covering the Multistrada sticker. But luckily I bought a whole new set so that will go on over this as well. Um, wheel ones. Yeah, some nice ones these are. I like these. Or more. Yeah, they're lovely they are. Good. Right, let's warm this one up. You haven't got to rush because it's wet. Don't rush it. One to go. When doing the back, I noticed that it is too big. Can you see that? I'm not going to drop the damn camera again. Top tip: when you are, you've got to trim or cut. Heat it and then make sure it's stuck really, really well, both sides. Then when you slice it, it's a clean cut. If it's not, it'll move and it wiggles and you end up. But to be honest with you, the shape of that is not brilliant. I mean, it is sort of following a line. Uh, and the pattern is there, isn't it? But, yeah. But yeah, now, it's a scary one, because, well, is it, is it that way? Yeah, it must be. So I'm going to have to take, oh, I don't know, I, don't, I just don't know. Is that it? It's not brilliant, is it? And I've got to get this stick off as well. I was worried about getting this 3D one off. I think this is original because it's really, really well stuck on. But I'm going to peel that off, clean it up, and then try and look at the pictures and work it out. But, yeah, okay. They're on. Are they looking better? I don't know. Is it the right red? Also, I don't know. I was so, so impressed with these ones, though. They look brilliant. 3D ones are much better. Changing the shape and look at the bike slightly. You've got some stickers over there. Maybe I'll put the jacket on there. Let's have another go and see how it goes.
don't overwork the area. Make sure that there's some water on top here. You're going to get scratch marks, which you don't really want. This wire microfiber is quite good as well. Um, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh no, microphone then. <laughs> no bubbles again. And these I'm just going to have to literally peel on and whack on. I had, didn't have to take that off in the end because that's going to go like that. And that will go across there. Um, we're going to get a nice outside shot in a minute of it. And I've obviously got the Ducati to slap on like that. So we missed the C. Yeah, no, all in. I don't know. I don't know. I tried to line it up and line it up again. So I don't know. Might do it that way. I don't know. I'm going to have a look in a minute. Um, I'm going to keep heating this up. So don't overwork the area. Don't worry about creases. And to be honest with you, this is a godsend because it just nicely folds in to any area that you want to go. And I'll heat that up a bit more. Try and always go from the top down because water naturally does that. So, finish that off, get your catty on, do the other side, and then put some nice stickers on, then you're going to get a lovely look round, and you can tell me what you think. Yeah. So, to cue the music, and have a little look. I've got to do the other side yet. Added, put across nicely. Added. Added, come up behind, the original stickers are there as well, underneath, a little bit there, new one on the wheel, so, we'll get outside in a minute, that's not bad for 30 quid, just a lot harder than I thought it was actually going to be. this side to do. Let's carry on then. Cup of tea. Right. When I do, that's still movable. Put all these on. What I get is a Stanley blade. And I just run the Stanley blade along here to the line, slice in the middle and then fold them over and then run the standing blade again along and then what you should get is when you peel off this, no bubbles, no bubbles and you should get it ever so nicely to end perfectly and if we go this way now this wasn't a backing paper, this is a backing paper but damn so easier and watch if you get this, it should just nicely, look at that, see that, and then I'm going to mirror the other side exactly what I did there, that looks the nuts, no bubbles, you've got to have a heat gun to warm this up, don't overwork the area, a line there, but that's the way it goes, because you can only follow the pattern you've got, now, this is all still movable, okay? And it's up here and down here and up there, so you want to be able to still move it. There's no time for it once it's wet until you squat squishing it down. You may get it up once or twice, but after that you can overwork the area and you're going to be knackered. So, let's get on with it. So what do you think? £40 for the front board, 3D ones. £30 for the side ones. I paid a little extra bit for some of these at 12 99 I've got another set coming, Pfft, when? What do you think? I don't think they turned out that bad. I'm not going to say it was a lot of skill. <laughs> no bubbles. Tiny little bits flattened down still, remember it's just been done. But, yes, a nice MIV exhaust I mentioned the other day underneath on here I think they're all decals they were five pound odd and they come slightly concaved very nice and here we go again what we started 1200 nice I suppose they look odd because of Vince there but a couple on there 
the one there. And there as well. And there you go, as I like to say, job done. Nice. All you need, a small little spray bottle that gives a fine mist with some washing up liquid. Microfiber cloth, as long as it's soft. This is the must. Brilliant. Cut the quid. Brilliant. A pair of scissors, simple just to cut them out. And a very, very sharp one of these. And you should get the same as I just got there, plus the hair dryer. Now the hair dryer is a really big help. Hopefully, that's showing you how easy it is to get them on. These were so simple though. Literally, they just um, peel off and slap on. You haven't got to worry about bubbles. But this could have been actually bubble heaven if you hadn't have used these few little tools. And I wouldn't have likened to try and get them on without any of this, without that backing paper. That made a real, real bitch of it. As I pulled them off, they flapped over on me and everything else. So if you're gonna do this and get them sort of stickers, Keep this spread everywhere. They don't stick together so badly. When you get them on, then just roll them out. And they're gonna stick. They will bond over the next 40 hours or so. Do not wash your bike. Really bad idea washing your bike. But other than that, I am really, really happy. So, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.